I don't know if, did, if this has hit the newspapers yet because I haven't had a chance to, to peruse the newspapers. This was published in Nature maybe four days ago. It's a premier scientific journal. Fascinating. Um, about, uh, how, about life experience, whether you live in a city now and w where you grew up, how, how much of your early life was spent growing up in a city. And they looked at the population in cities versus towns versus rural. And, you know, previously there have been psychological things where we know schizophrenia is at a much higher rate in cities than in rural populations. But they did MRIs, and they did this really, you know, both wicked and wickedly clever experiment. What they did is, 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 they exp is they had people take a test, and it was a test that was too hard, so they couldn't do it. And then they berated them. It's like some of my teachers. But they just said, you know, you're not getting it right, you're going too slow, it's not getting right. And then they took her an MRI right afterwards to, to, to see what parts of their brain were acting up. And it turned out that the people who were rural handled the stress pretty well. And the people from the cities or people who, who grew up um, in cities as opposed to rural, you could see a marked difference in their brain imaging. Marked difference. And that's the graph. I mean, those are graphs on the right that scientists like to put up there. But it wasn't subtle. It wasn't a subtle effect. It was a really dramatic effect. So it's getting, it got written up in The Economist. You'll, I think you're going to hear a lot more about this study. Interesting way to do an experiment. But that, you know, come on, we spent 100,000 generations being hunter-gatherers. We've had maybe, you know, a couple hundred generations in our current, you know, settled down town and city thing. Those 100,000 generations have to have sort of hardwired some things in us. So I, I say that, that... You know, it's, it's not just about, uh, about it, connecting kids with nature is not just about saving nature. It may be about saving the kids. 